Hey, this is going to be a step-by-step -step video on what I did for the helmet, but if you want to skip over to 553 uh, to see the final piece, go for it. So right now I'm using the Dremel to remove any hard pieces of filament from when I was soldering because sandpaper isn't going to smooth out these hard pieces. Next is using plastic wood X to fill any holes and ridges um, that you might have caused while soldering. So I found that the popsicle sticks work the best, also through uh, a few videos that I saw, but they do work the best. I tried uh, a gloves and tried using my fingers, but it wasn't working the same. You could even use a plastic butter knife if you have one, just anything solid and flat to, to scrape it over. So pretty much you just start pasting it on. Um, you don't need to excessively apply it like I did. I learned later on you just need to enough to fill uh, in the holes. Anything after that is just wasting the material. And then just one pointer, um, you don't need this to fill in any creases. This is pretty much to fill in any impurities on the print. So, you know, sometimes the printer might print one spot pretty bad and it looks makes it look all funky. Uh, you could put this on and then later on you just smooth it out with the sandpaper. Okay, so now that we let it dry overnight, um, we're gonna sand this down and then primer it and get it ready for ready for paint. You got everything else here. This is gonna be smoothed out. It's kind of broken, or I broke it, but it's all right. It still works. This, these two, these were two different pieces. So this right here is where I soldered it together. Just a quick tip, make sure you're wearing a ventilator mask. Um, I do have one because I was working with resin, so I had to buy one then. But once you're sanding, that dust builds up everywhere and eventually you will inhale it and it's not a good time. So the sandpaper I'm using right now is 120 grit. Um, it's not the roughest and for me it doesn't need to be because I already pre-sanded all the pieces. Um, you might put everything together and then just decide to sand the whole thing afterwards. So that's up to you, but I didn't need anything really rough right now just to get the, the plastic wood off. After sanding, I went ahead and started soldering more pieces together. I'm using a cheap Radio Shack soldering iron that I've had for years. Um, it doesn't need to be anything fancy as long as it just gets hot enough to melt the plastic. Um, for the insides, I usually go back and forth just to make sure the pieces are melting together and sticking. You can go a little deeper just to make sure they stick together and have a stronger hold. But on the outside, I go light enough just to cover the gap because uh, that's what's going to be visible and you're going to be sanding and working with that. So you don't want any big uh, gaps and holes just to give yourself more problems. Fuck, fuck you, god damn it. So perfect example, this mosquito landed on me and I took my focus off the soldering iron and now I have a big hole in the mask. So now on to primering the mask. Um, I got the two in one primer and paint. I use this as my base primer for everything, but for the white parts, I made sure to do a few coats till everything was covered. But after that, I mean, you know, it's a primer. So for the red and for the yellow and for the steel gray, um, it went on, it went on just fine because it was already primered. All right, guys, everything is painted. Uh, I hope so, that, that came out pretty good. This looks pretty good also. Um, I'll get a closer up, close up look later, but now it's time to glue and put everything together and then we're gonna put it, coat it 
and that should be it. And for the last part and putting everything together uh, is just gluing everything. I don't have a specific brand for super glue. Um, I've used plenty of different glues, cheap ones, expensive ones. They all seem to work just fine. You just gotta be patient and make sure they uh, hold and cure. You know, sometimes it takes 24 hours for them to really solidify, but if you can't sit there and hold it till it cures, um, the painter's tape I've found helps you. It, it keeps everything together while the, the glue does its job. So right now we glued the mask. Um, this is big enough for me to just put my head in anyways. So if this were any other mask, I'd probably use magnets and stuff. But uh, yeah, this is, I'm letting this dry right now and then we're gonna install that with this piece and it should be done. Okay, so I made a little hole now. So now this should, cause look, it was, it was small to begin with, but that should be good enough to hold and glue everything and then it should be done, looking good. Look at that, chilling. All right, let me put you up here. Turn you like that. Should be good, right, Matt? All right. This shit's been a pain in the ass, but let's see. All right. Let's put her in. Oh, no. Where is it? No, I had it. Fuck. I think that's it. All right, looks like we are done, kind of. I just saw that this should have been gray, but oh well, who cares? Um, it looks good. I just gotta clean it up, wipe it down with some dust and stuff. But now I'm gonna polish it, wait for that to dry, and I think we're done. cracked no what the fuck is that so i just want to pause the video real quick and explain what happened um the solder came apart on both sides i was putting too much pressure when i was putting the front piece in but that's because i didn't solder it too deep i guess you could say i kind of just did that the top layer really lightly and you know there's no there's no strength in that so that's why they kind of separated a little bit but off camera, I, I fixed it later and paint and repainted it. But yeah. Man. Oh, well. Well, thanks for watching. Um, this was one of my bigger projects that I've done besides one of the swords, but I don't know, that seemed a lot easier than this. Um, I'm not gonna do any LED lights to the eyes or put any padding because it's more of a decorative piece. Um, I'm gonna put it with my other Gundams, you know, on the wall and stuff. But I mean, this did motivate me to start making masks, knowing that I can do it. I just gotta be patient, you know, have the time. I like doing all this stuff anyways. I don't know, I just, I don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna start doing the mask like I said. Uh, I, I am gonna get a bigger printer, you know, more print size because 
I did this, as you saw in the video, I did this in a whole bunch of pieces, um, which is cool and all, but I think for something like this, this is way too many pieces to put together. Um, so with the bigger printer, it's gonna you know print it in one, maybe even in twos, whatever, that's fine, but it gives me more time to make a video to, you know, shots and all, all this painting and stuff. So um, yeah, I'm excited for that. And uh, as far as the masks go, I'm gonna try to do more different masks. I know there's hundreds of uh, Iron Man masks, you know, I mean, if you want, I can make one, but I, I really don't. Yeah, it's cool, but I don't know. I'm gonna try making something different. So we'll see. All right, thanks.